I'm gonna give you a list of the best tools to help you grow here on YouTube as a content creator. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your YouTube channel and you wanna learn how to make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. There are a lot of things involved with growing here on YouTube. Of course, you know, your videos, the learning curve behind actually making the videos, using the platform, how to engage with your audience and things like that. But there are also some tools that can really advance what's going on and give you some insight into what's going on in your channel here on YouTube. It's a short list of tools, but these are the things, the most important tools that I have personally found that have helped me grow my channel from 350 something subscribers a month to over 2,600 subscribers a month. And real quick, before we get started, if you have any YouTube tools that you recommend, make sure to leave them in the comments down below to help other people that are gonna be watching this video. Number one, and at the very top of my list, is TubeBuddy. If you are not familiar with TubeBuddy, this browser plugin is going to blow your mind. TubeBuddy allows you to bulk copy cards across your videos. You can make thumbnail graphics with it. You can use it for keyword research. They suggest tags to help you rank your videos better. You can A-B test thumbnails. You can even set up canned responses on your channel, which is pretty awesome. So let's say that you get a lot of the same type of comments or a lot of people asking the same type of question. You can predefine that answer and then you can just select it from a dropdown when somebody asks that question. Say is a ton of time. You can also see a quick overview of the stats of other channels that leave comments on any video on YouTube. And you can use this same feature to actually reach out to the people directly, which is fantastic if you are trying to find other YouTubers to collaborate with. Here's an example. Let's check out Brian D. Johnson's channel. You hit this video here, check out the top comment. Hey, it's Fitz. As a side note, he has a very helpful fitness channel. So if you're wanting to get in shape this year, go over there and check him out. But anyway, click on TubeBuddy next to his name and you can see his stats or send a message directly. So that's great for contacting YouTubers for collaboration. TubeBuddy, it's amazing. TubeBuddy is a free browser plugin. If you're just getting started, it's really gonna help you get going here on YouTube and help you rank your videos better. They also have a pro version, which is what I have, and I highly recommend it. The features that come with the pro version are really going to help you grow your channel. Of course, the pro version does cost money, but if you're serious about growing here on YouTube, it's worth it. Of course, I'm gonna put a link to TubeBuddy down in the description below, and I want you to know that my confidence is so high in this tool that they have an affiliate program and I put affiliate links out to them and other stuff that I do. But in this video, it's not gonna be an affiliate link. It's just gonna be a straight link to TubeBuddy because I want you to go there and I want you to download the plugin. I want you to give it a shot and see how it can help you grow your channel. And as a side note, before we get into the other tools because I've hyped up TubeBuddy so much, I want you to know that this video is in no way sponsored by TubeBuddy or any of the other tools in this list. I'm just trying to hook you guys up because I was having a conversation with another YouTube friend of mine who is very into YouTube, has been doing it for a long time, and they were not familiar with TubeBuddy, which lets me know that a lot of the people watching my videos probably are not familiar with TubeBuddy as well, and it's pretty important that you know about this stuff. Number two, Social Blade. Social Blade helps you track your personal growth, which is awesome. You can track your stats against competing channels here on YouTube. You can get future growth predictions based on your current trajectory, which is pretty cool. Or if you're just curious, you can use Social Blade to check out the details of other channels, to see how they're growing, to see how many subscribers they're getting per day and things like that. It's a really cool tool for personal growth and to do research on other channels, especially other people in your niche. 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 Another fantastic tool if you are a stats junkie is Tubular Labs. In addition to all of the other statistical information that they provide, a really cool feature about Tubular Labs is they also tell you who your top commenters are, which is great for checking viewer engagement, especially if you're using that engagement to run contests or something like that. That is not a bribe. But they also show you how much influence your subscribers have. So let's say, for example, that if I have someone subscribed to my channel that has you know, 15,000 subscribers and they do similar topics to myself. By keeping track of what's going on inside of Tubular Labs, I can see that they subscribe to my channel and I can reach out to them because, you know, they like my stuff enough to subscribe to me. So I can reach out to them and see if maybe they're interested in a collaboration of some kind. So for that alone, Tubular Labs is a really, really cool tool. Another one is the YouTube Creator Studio app. Now, by assumption, I think that a lot of YouTubers know about this, but I'm mentioning it just because I know that there's probably a lot of other people that do not. With the YouTube Creator Studio app, you can do things like check your comments and engage with your community, view real-time stats, which I'm warning you can get kind of addictive. In addition to that, you can also access all types of other statistical data that you would normally have to log into your YouTube Creator Studio on a computer or through a browser in order to have access to. You have access to all of that stuff within the app, 
which is pretty awesome. VidIQ is another browser plugin. It's similar to TubeBuddy, but personally my preference is TubeBuddy because in addition to just the statistical stuff, they offer a lot more features in addition to, you know, just the statistical information. But VidIQ is definitely a helpful tool if you are doing research on other videos and things like that, and especially useful for being able to pull up search results and see right away the tags that people are using. It can, it can kind of help spark some ideas when you're doing your own keyword research. They also give you another range of stats that you can see in your sidebar at a glance, which can also be very helpful when you are putting your videos together, you're doing research for your keywords that you're going after and things like that. Remember, if you have any tools that I did not mention in this list that you wanna to suggest to other creators, leave them down in the comments below because that's the type of community that we have on this channel. We're trying to help each other out. So make sure to leave that information down in the comments below to help out other people that are gonna be watching this video. If you are not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more videos like this in the future. And if there is anything that you're wanting to do in your life, be it create a YouTube channel or make YouTube videos or any other goal that you're wanting to achieve, this is the sign you're looking for. Start right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.